My name is uh, Dr. Evan Lampert. I am a professor in the biology department here at UNG, and I am an entomologist. The Jarl spider is the common name of a large orb web spider called Trichonophila clavata. The Jarl spider is native to mostly Japan, but also China, Taiwan, and Korea was found in Georgia in 2014. It is believed to have arrived through probably a shipping container. The Joro spider is a very kind of dramatic looking and very distinctive looking spider because of its large web. When people look at the web, they'll see that it often has a lot of golden strands in the web that can help to distinguish it from other orb weaver spiders. The females are much larger than the males and the females are quite brightly colored. The body of a spider has what we call a cephalothorax and an abdomen. The cephalothorax is gray. The legs are black with yellow bands at the joints. And the abdomen is very distinctive on a female. The dorsal or top of the abdomen has green and yellow stripes that go across the abdomen. The underside or ventral part of the abdomen has some red markings as well that can be used to distinguish it. The males are much smaller, and they'll generally be found in the web of the females. They can have a little bit of green and yellow, kind of brown. They're much more drab than the female and much smaller. The ramifications of the Joe spider are, as of now, unknown and quite speculative. There is an idea that they may be beneficial. Some people out of the University of Georgia have noticed that they capture an invasive stink bug in the web called the brown marmorated stink bug. They also, like many other orb weavers, will probably capture quite a few pestiferous or damaging moths and mosquitoes as well. Like all spiders, they have the potential to serve as beneficial animals as pest control agents. On the other hand, it is also possible that they may be competitively displacing other spiders. Competitive displacement is the concept in which a species that uses the same resources as a similar species is going to prohibit the other species from surviving. It is possible, but not yet, quite understood that the Jarl spider might be displacing other orb web spiders here in the U.S., such as the riding spider, Argaia piarantia. So I'm actually planning a little bit of research in the Jarl spider this fall. And my idea is to look at a website called iNaturalist from 2014 until this fall, and I want to look at the number of observations of Jarl spiders in Georgia, and where Jarl spiders are found, I want to look at the number of observations of other orb web weaver spiders. So it'd be kind of a, almost a big data or citizen science project where I use observations by citizens uploaded to this website, iNaturalist, to determine indirectly if the Jarl spider has been having an effect. The uh, rate of spread across the United States is still not known because they have been here less than 10 years. As of now, the great majority of sightings are still in Georgia. In late 2021, there was even a discovery in Oklahoma of a spider alive that had probably hitched a ride from Athens, Georgia, into Oklahoma. That's how they disperse, by hitching rides and surviving the ride and then uh, establishing a new population. My thoughts on the Joro spider are that it is a really remarkable exotic species and I don't want to say Georgia is lucky to have them, but it's a very interesting situation that Georgia is in because an arachnid that is likely to be the rage, uh, for lack of a better term, in eastern U.S., infamous, and very well known, maybe a little bit too feared, originated in Georgia. And so it's a really unique opportunity and a really special opportunity to have before anywhere else in the country.
So one question a lot of people might have when they see the Joro spider is how dangerous they are to humans. The Joro spider is a venomous animal. Almost all spiders are venomous and they use venoms to incapacitate their prey and also to defend themselves against predators, including humans. Like most spiders, however, the Joro spider is very hesitant to give a vertebrate an envenomated bite. Usually, envenomating a bite to a vertebrate is very dangerous for the spider. So spiders are all very hesitant to do that. When people see Joro spiders, people should just keep in mind that the spider will not seek to bite a human ever, and will only do it as a last resort. If people uh, see any spider, make sure you identify it before killing it indiscriminately. Spiders are really beneficial animals, and just because you hear of this invasive spider in the news, that doesn't mean all spiders should be persecuted. And um, like all animals, spiders should be respected and enjoyed in their natural habitat.